Welcome to the Lake Mead and Hoover Dam update for October 2022. A major water supplier to the Las Vegas area has filed for bankruptcy due to low water levels at Lake Mead. With water levels declining below 1,043 feet, the company's only intake pipe became exposed and is no longer able to pull water from Lake Mead. This is yet another example of how low water levels in the country's largest reservoirs are having an impact on everyday life. Let's take a look at the water statistics, then I will discuss how this loss of water supply will impact Las Vegas. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. I really value your support. The current water level at the Lake Mead Reservoir is 1,045.32 feet above mean sea level. That's over 174 feet 3 inches below the full pool elevation. Water levels at Lake Mead have risen about 1.5 feet in the past few weeks. This rise in elevation is due in part to some precipitation in the upper Colorado River Basin, but mainly due to reservoir capacity management. Emergency plans were enacted earlier this year to prop up water levels in Lake Powell at the expense of Lake Mead. However, now that Lake Mead is near record low water levels, releases from Lake Powell have increased, while outflows from Lake Mead have been reduced. So far this year, the reservoir has dropped 22 feet 4 inches. The current elevation is 112 feet below the 1,157-foot average for this date. The highest water level at Lake Mead was recorded on July 24, 1983, at 1,225 feet. A new record low was set a few weeks ago on July 28, when the water level dropped to 1,040.58. When we look at previous year's elevations for this same date, we see the Lake Mead Reservoir is 22 feet below the water level at this same time last year. When compared to 2020, the reservoir is currently 38 feet lower. The water level is 30 feet below the elevation on the same date in 2016, when the reservoir was also at historic lows. The current capacity of the Lake Mead Reservoir is 7,349,000 acre feet which is only 26% of full pool. The average capacity for this date is 18.5 million acre-feet. A new record low for America's largest reservoir was set last month when the capacity dropped to 7,018,000 acre-feet. Full capacity is 28.2 million acre-feet. At the start of the 2022 water year, which began on October 1, 2021, the Lake Mead Reservoir was at 1,067.68 feet. It reached its peak for the water year on October 17th at 1,068 feet. Water levels then declined to 1,064.91 feet on December 2nd before winter precipitation started to raise water levels. Early winter storms managed to increase the reservoir to a peak of 1,067.26 feet on January 25th before starting to decline again. On July 28th, Lake Mead's water levels were at 1,040.58 feet, the lowest they've been since the 1930s, not long after the lake was first created. In early August, monsoon rains managed to raise Lake Mead by 4 feet. Today, the lake's elevation is at 1,045.32 feet. Although the water level has risen in the past few weeks, it is expected to decline through the end of November. A major water supplier to Henderson County and the Las Vegas area has declared bankruptcy. Basic Water Company, a wholly owned division of BMI, has been providing water to the Las Vegas area for over 70 years. As water levels in Lake Mead declined, management at Basic Water knew they would need to update or even replace their existing intake pipe that was constructed during World War II. That intake pipe was the first straw designed to bring water from Lake Mead to Las Vegas. Over the years, several solutions were studied, but none could resolve the situation given Basic Water's tight budget. Basic Water used to be the sole supplier of water to the city of Henderson, including Lake Las Vegas, but that water supply has been diversified over the years. As the intake pipe ran dry, Basic Water had to purchase water at great cost to meet water delivery obligations to its customers. These costs overwhelmed the company and forced it to declare bankruptcy. It's now up to the courts to decide how to handle these water delivery commitments. As always, I'll continue to monitor the situation and provide you with regular updates. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I really value your support. Thanks for watching.